Good morning, folks. Happy Monday. Now, <laughs> I almost said Minecraft Monday, but that's not what we're, that's not what we do anymore. We're going to be we're going to we're kind of back to how I was for a while where on Mondays I'd stream Dragon Quest starting when I did uh, that big playthrough of 11, but we are back with some more Dragon Quest 8. The number 8. <laughs> Counting with Mobus once again. Um yeah, so we're playing more Drunk Quest 8 today. Uh, I think we uh, finally figured out how to get into that tower east, like east of town. So we are going to go there. But before we go to that tower, I'm still fundraising to help my good friend Hachiko get back on his feet and to save up for a deposit on a place so he and his some of his he and his new roommates can move into a nice place and be happy and good and you know safe and all that fun stuff so any support to Hachiko is appreciated I have the GoFundMe link for Hachiko in my chat every once in a while from a bot there's a there's a command for it and I have it on my layout so any way that y'all want to support him is awesome and I appreciate you for it it's also there's also a uh, button with the fundraiser um, icon like graphic below the stream as well if you want to if that is easier for you to use alrighty let's try and that's right I, I, did I deactivate the wrong thing oh yeah my, my, my I'm just hiding right now it's it's like Groundhog Day except for awful space beans There I am. See, I was just, I was just playing. I was just being a little shy. Yeah, I, re I rebooted my PC <laughs> like last night before bed, and yeah, I kind of forgot about that. So I was just, I was just playing possum. Anyway, let's get the game going. You may ask yourself, why am I not doing anything for Halloween? It's because every day is Halloween for me, baby. I am always a monster. <laughs> keep forgetting that it's not a uh, long uh, intro. Because, like, DQ11 has a really long intro that I could just sit here and eat part of my breakfast through while it's just going. Welcome back, Angus. I trust you had a peaceful respite. If you ever feel lost after a long rest, you might want to speak to your fellow party members for advice. Oh yeah, we have this child with us. Blech. Didn't that Bengers kid tell us to go? Yeah, it didn't really. I'm, uh, I'm mostly relearning the controls. <laughs> I 
Hello, 3Gs. How are you doing today, friend? Um, doing all right. Sinuses are garbage as always, so I'm trying to cope with that. But otherwise, got some coffee, got some Dragon Quest. It's looking pretty good. Oh, we got shoes. Oh, jeez. S sinus probes. Honestly, both don't both sound awful. A <laughs> sinus probe. It sounds like something an alien would do to a human being. You're like, oh, time for a sinus probe. <laughs> Fucking furries. Oh no! Already did, bangers. See? Told you. Only Alexandrians know how to open this door. Oh, this is an emergency, so I'll show you how to open the door. But you have to promise never to tell anyone. My question is who the fuck told you? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Open Sesame! It's a lift door, huh? Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> it opens from the bottom. A lot of <laughs> things open from the bottom. <laughs> Bananas, people, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's heel slimes. Hello, little friends. Heel slimes are friend shaped. It should be illegal, but here I am smacking the shit out of heel slimes. <laughs> I love them, but they kind of got they gotta go. Yeah, doors locked from the inside. Oh, 
look, frog face. Oh god. I like, I like the other face better. <laughs> I like how it switches though, that's kind of funny. <laughs> oh, I keep, I kept pressing this, the wrong button. New treasure, hmm. Oh, nice, a map. Drack mages. Yeah, that boomerang was well worth the time saving up for. As the door early that was locked. Okay, cool. So that's a shortcut back through the dungeon in case I need it. Maybe that's not the way we go in. <laughs> hmm. It's probably this way and I just missed it somehow. Let's find out. Oh, yep, there's a ladder. I, I missed seeing the ladder. I can imagine how many kids that screwed over because they didn't really notice there was a ladder there and they just never climbed ladder and then they ran around this place looking for like 30 plus minutes. Someone cover me while I'm casting, jeez! <laughs> Hello, Hug Dispenser. Welcome. We're fighting more critters in Dragon Quest VIII. Fungal here giving us the mushroom tip.
I got a feeling whatever encounter is going to happen here is going to happen, like, after, when we get in here, so we're going to just herb up and go on in. Oh, prison bars, that's welcoming. <laughs> Beetle Boys! Ooh, Beetle Boy treasure. A leather hat. Is that something I... Either our people can use. No, I saved up and bought leather hats already. Well, shoot. Oh. Okay, well, I guess that's how that works. You just go just run up and touch random things until something works. Oh, it's hail slimes again. Oh, don't give me a choice. I'm bad at choices. I'm not bad at destroying vases, though. See the strength, huh? I guess anyway. Um, let's see. Well, I want to check out the other side too. I don't know if I don't know which side leads to whatever boss is in this tower, but. There's a lot of enemies in this group. No, oh, they even get them. <laughs> a little dude just like fell over. So, so that's the typ typical little um, imp slash mini demons that have these big spells but not the MP to cast them, so they just kind of fail a lot, and it's kind of funny. You heal slime, aren't you? Aren't you slick? Slimy, hello, a hello, hail, welcome. Well, I got this boomerang because that grip would have been a fucking nightmare otherwise. Jeez, that was a pretty stacked encounter. I hope you're doing well today, Hale. It's always good to see you. 
I was actually thinking about you last night. Let's see. What? Why is that wall there? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> Uh-oh, stinky! <laughs> oh wow, awesome! Hell yeah, big ol' riding session. Ow. Hell yeah, it's awesome here. You got so much done. Good lord, how 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 far along is it till we're level 11 at this point? We're just getting getting a good just oodles of freaking XP from just getting through this tower here. See some er see some oibs. Cause I don't know when we're gonna run into the boss, so I wanna make sure I'm nice and full HP. Looks like either side seems to be where you can come from. I'm tempted to go down the other side now to see if I missed any chest, because, yeah, it seems like how they would design this dungeon. See, you just had to complain a little bit, and then things happen. 9 HP, some MP, 3 strength, mmm, 6 skill points? Oh, you're spoiling me, game. Nothing but clubs. Hammer artist. Learns Monster Masher. <laughs> hey, it's fitting, it's Halloween. So, so, Yangus is gonna do the graveyard smash. Okay, that, apparently the way I went there just now is the way to go. And the treasure we're looking for is on the flip side of that wall. Well, I already have one of those, so. Yeah, I was a fool and grinded for all the items in the shop because the enemies that are on the, around this area were giving me some trouble.
Oh wow, still, still, uh, first time that a herb hasn't fully healed Yangus. That's pretty cool. Oh boy's a little thick. Wonders on Monsters of the Material Family. Okay. <sighs> Holy shit, when is Hero gonna level up again? I kinda want that to happen before this whatever boss fight's happening. So we're gonna probably just run around in circles a little bit, do a little purette. Oh wow, well that this will probably this will probably fucking do it. I gotta be careful though, because these uh, frogs actually have some pretty dangerous stuff if they decide they want to do it. Like, sizz or fire or whatever. I think they're a lot safer in their little, like, mild mannered form like this. There we go, that went pretty good. That, that'll do it. <laughs> that was a lot of XP. 12 HP, god damn, all right. Ooh, sis, that's nice. Three skill points. I probably shouldn't be doing this, but Learns a cross cutter throw. Oh. Sweet. I should I probably shouldn't be spitting splitting points like that, but I figure it's worth it. One HP, nah. Yeah, this definitely seems like the place where the the encounter for this zone is gonna happen. Oh, statue. Evil statue. Shimmering jewels. Hello. You. Uh oh. Do I have to fight her? I knew you'd be back for the jewels. Well, looks like looks like we will. You killed my brother. Now you'll suffer the same fate. I guess thieves need to be quick on their toes. But you won't get away from me this time. <sighs> Prepare to die! Wait! Jessica, it's me. Don't you recognize my voice? Uh-oh. Statue's on fire! Uh, Alistair? Stay your spell, Jessica. I wasn't slain at their hands. Stay my spell. But it's too late. Destroy the vase. <laughs> Alistair? Alistair? Is that really you? <clears throat> It's me, Jess. You have to listen to me, as do you travelers. After I died, a part of my soul was allowed to linger in this statue. Well, ain't that a quinky dink Even now as I speak to you, the power keeping me here begins to evaporate. Time is short. 
Look into the statue's eyes. The truth lies within. Hurry! The day I died, the door to the tower was already <laughs> open. I thought it was strange, so I decided to look around and see for myself. Exactly, Burning Man. <laughs> That's when I saw him. Oh. Hey, it's Halloween. Who are you? Perfect for Halloween, here's the clown. Such a pity. Oh, he sounds like a clown too. <laughs> pity? What are you talking about? Who are you? Answer well, me. I am Dulmagus, and I was referring to the fragility of human life. Fragility? What do you mean? My my sword! I, I can't draw my sword! I said such a pity. A terrible pity that a shining young star like you should chance to encounter me. God, he sounds like the clown. Not just a clown. What have you done to me? Magus, I won't forget this. Thanks for the hydrate. Hope you're having a good, good morning, bud. What? You won't forget my name? You're too kind. I shall return the favor and remember yours as well. Now, let us finish this before I feel any more. To make us. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Have a good day. Oh. Hmm. It has been an honor making your acquaintance. You may rest assured, your death will not be in vain. And then they kissed. Hydre, more coffee. Mmm. And now you have seen what the statue saw, my traveling friends. I don't understand it myself, but it seems the statue of Alexandra has been awaiting your arrival. If the memory of my tale can serve you on your quest, it would bring great relief to my soul. My stay here is coming to an end. It's time for us to part. One final thing, Jess. Mother may try to stand in your way. Nevertheless, follow your heart and do as you must. Farewell, my little sister. The fire's gone. Back to he back to heaven with you, fucker. <laughs> what a tragic affair. Yes, Kring Trode, it's all tragic. There can be no question. This is Dolmagus's treachery. Cool, blimey! It would appear that <laughs> Alistair also wishes us to bring Dolmagus to justice. 
What's with that face, Yangus? His sacrifice shall not be in vain. Surely he's heard King Trode speak before, right? Now, <laughs> he has another reason to stop Dormagus' <laughs> foul reign of terror. I shall await you by the carriage. Cheerio! God, it's so painfully British. Is Naruto running? <laughs> Jessica sits on the floor, weeping silently. Sexy's eyes are set with a pair of beautiful, shimmering jewels. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna do uh, evac. Oh, fine. I'll go downstairs and then evac. Oh, wait. I really must apologize for my behavior. We'll talk more later. But I need to be alone right now. I'll see you back at the village. Okay, bye. Can I, now can I evac? I hate to be a little rude, but, you know, I kind of want to get out of this fucking tower. Ooh, All right, so no boss there. I was kind of expecting there to be one up, up in that tower. Oh well, that's fine. I'll survive. Unlike these bodkin archers. What do you want? Oh, you're back. You're ages. I was starting to get worried. So where's Jessica? Hmm, really? So you saw her in the tower? Well, it's not brilliant, but I suppose if she said she's coming back, then that's good enough. Thanks for your help, Mingus. You're a bit of a pain at first, but you're pretty sound, I suppose. Fuck you! Oh yeah, I almost forgot to ask at the end if they might be able to put you up for the night. Mash, should I put her pocket money to get her to pay for it? So you better not let her get away. So, oh no, all, all eight gold pieces. Well, thanks, kid. Your, your sacrifice will not be in vain. Probably be looking in these bookcases. King of Adventure. You can get different information. Oh yeah, I think I already read this one. Yeah, I did. I think I gave this town the good once over last stream. Hello, kiddo. What's up? Yay, Miss Jessica's better again now. Yay! You look like you've seen some shit. <laughs> Child's got like a thousand yard stare. <laughs> uh, let's see, I think it's this guy can buy herbs from.
<clears throat> now I want to buy some more herbs for... I know at some point soon we're getting the, the alchemy pot. So I want to buy herbs so I can probably smash some of them together to make better herbs. I mean, that's how, um... The DQ11 work, you could smash small herbs into, like, like med strong medicines or something like that. I can, I can imagine it works similarly in this, because this came before 9, so... Okay, I think I gotta just go upstairs. Oh, there they are. Hold on there. This is a family matter. The lady will attend to you shortly. Can I just hit him with my hammer? I'm going to ask you again, Jessica. Are you entirely bereft of compassion? Will you not mourn your own brother's death? Not this again! Of course I'm sad! I can't believe I even have to say it. But all you can think of is tradition and family obligations. I'm talking about avenging his murder! Avenging? You will stop this foolishness this instant! You are a young lady, not a warrior. You really okay, Tradwife, jeez. This. Yes? You will mourn your brother's death like a proper lady. It's our family's way. Our family's way? Who cares about our family's way? I don't expect you to believe me, but Alistair spoke to me. He told me to follow my heart. That's why my mind is made up. I don't care about the consequences. I'm going to make Alistair's murderer pay. Very well. It's obvious there's no talk. Yeah, I had a feeling she'd be joining us pretty soon. But, as far as I'm concerned, I no longer have a daughter. I want you out of this house at once! Eat shit. Fine! I was planning on leaving until you came to your senses anyway! Angie! Bangers! Mash! <laughs> Let me through! I'm getting my things! Look up! Fuck! Bangers mash! I need to walk into this door angrily for a few seconds. <laughs> there she is. I'm sorry for not telling you the truth before. Forgive me. Uh, are you really? Leaving? I mean, I've seen Jessica before. Yeah, I am. Even if I've not played much of this you game. Watch over the village while I'm gone. So I know that she's a party member. I know there's also at least another one that Alistair I've seen, told me but this would happen. He said you two would protect the town and grow up to be famous warriors. <laughs> Stinky child. Come on, chin up. Your mission guarding my room is over. I want you to patrol outside from now on. Yes, sir! <laughs> Jesus. Stinky children. Well, I'm leaving. Thanks for being such a great mum. Have a nice life! Angry! Stomp, 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 stomp! <clears throat> I 
Fuck you, weird man. Little weirdo man. <clears throat> Let's drop a save real quick. Just for the sake of saving. I'm expecting we either um, have her join up when we leave town or like pretty soon in general. No, oh, but I was just running around. Maybe one of these fuckers saw her. Well. <laughs> Alright, dude. Or maybe we just don't get her yet. I don't know, but I imagine we'll join forces with her soon. Skipper! The Skipper 2! I think the Skippers must be a unique enemy to either... One of the Dragon Quests I haven't played, or this one, because I haven't seen them before my, this playthrough. They're kind of cute, in a gremlin-ass way. Dragon Mage is a, a medicinal herb, nice. Diabolical Dormigus! He's a cold-blooded killer, a soulless savage, a vile villain of the highest order. We haven't a moment to lose. We must catch that rogue if it's the last thing we do. He'll soon feel the crushing blow of my wrath. Yep, I'm sure he will. All five inches of it. <laughs> now I'm guessing we go this way now. I say this is a really good overworld theme. Oh, fine. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Hero is at nice HP. Port Prospect, okay. I figured we're heading somewhere, I just didn't know where. <laughs> Hammer hoods, okay. <laughs> I love how much exp how expressive the monsters and people are in this game. 
Hammerhead, this is an Oaken Club. Great. Well, there's a whole beach area we're probably not going to explore yet. This is a fairly long trek. I guess this is just Port Prospect again. Yep. Cool. Jail cats? Why are they in jail? Well, I can s I know I can see why they're in jail. They got like the jailbird colors. <laughs> jail cats. Jail cats. Aww. Aww. Stinky little jail cats. They're now in jail forever. <laughs> Coffee, 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 coffee. Ah. Oh, here's a not jail cat. <clears throat> Where are you going? Come back! <clears throat> Spiked hair. Formerly known as Almirage in older uh, DQs, went before the localizations of names and spells. Oh yeah, we're definitely killing you first. <clears throat> I want to say that localization of all the names and stuff happened in DQ7, I want to say. Like, changes to names of, of, like, abilities and spells and monsters and just basically everything, feels like. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, sucks to suck. It hyped, it hyped itself up to attack and then it just missed anyway. destroyed <laughs> and the spread damage on this boomerang is just too good to pass up Ooh, fencing fox dropped us a set of wayfarers clothes thanks furry <clears throat> I'm guessing this is the town Hello! Woof, woof, woof! Oh my goodness, what a cute little friend. Fish! Seed of Wisdom. Everything's ready to go, apart from the ship itself. I don't know what's going on. Why can't we set sail? Oh. Excuse me. Nice stripes. This place is built by the famous Albert family of Alexandria. We all work for them. And, of course, the most famous of them all is the Sailor's Dream. Miss Jessica, she's here in town right now, you know. <clears throat> Okay, we got an item shop, and we got a probably a weapon and armor shop. Ooh, let's let's check out the well. There's always fun things. <laughs> Yang just jumps in the fucking well. Oh, hello. 
I'm so miserable. Water in a well isn't like water in the sea. It's not it's not nice living down here. Not nice at all. I don't feel well. <laughs> why don't I go back to the sea? Well it's not that simple. That's why I'm so confused. It's the boss. He's the great greatest boss in the whole ocean, but he's been acting all weird lately. He always used to be so nice, but now he's angry all the time. He's scaring the scales off everyone. He even chased me away just because I was salivating a bit over his food. Well, <clears throat> sorry to hear that, Mr. S silly Little Man of War, or whatever you're called. Whee! I just love how Yangus just, just belly flops into the well. <laughs> okay, you don't have it. You don't have anything out of the. You don't have anything else other than what you've shown. Let's see what about you, though. You might have goodies. <clears throat> okay, no new, no new gear other than weapons, which... I mean, that's a damage improvement, but I do not have, um... I don't have um, skill points inside, so I don't know if I care right now. So yeah, we're not gonna worry. Spend any money here? That's fine. Let's say you're a dab hand with the old sword. You can't use the special skills you learned with that weapon when you switch to another weapon. It just won't work. Well, not usually anyway. So it's sometimes just to hang on to your old weapon, even if you got gone and got yourself a new one. Then you can equip it when the time's right for the special skill you want to use. That's what the pros do. You see. Skills are new techniques you learn. Skills are new discoveries. Skills are the souvenirs you collect on this rich journey that we call life. If you ever got a question about skills, you just come and see me. Is there anything I can help you with right now? Which skill level would you like to hear about? Which skill would you like to hear about? Your boomerang skills currently at rank 1 out of a total of 10. You need another 6 points. I... Whatever. <laughs> Some very strange things happened when I was on the ferry on my way over here. First of all, one of the sailors on deck spotted a man walking across the sea. We were all reeling from the shock of that when a huge monster surfaced and blocked the ship's path. We somehow managed to escape and make our way here, but I was absolutely beside myself with fear for a while. Whoa, Jesus is in this game? This gentleman here certainly has an interesting story to tell. I never imagined that some sort of thing would happen at sea. Hello, welcome to Port Prospect. I'm here to selling herbs. There's only ten gold quins each. Can I attempt you to buy one or two? No. I don't care if your family's dying. I don't need herbs. <laughs> well, there's nothing... Oh. I was gonna say there's nothing here, but there's definitely someone here, so let's talk to them. My old flame from when I was a young girl lives was across the ocean. I wonder if he still choose collects those funny little metal mmm. You had me at funny little metals. <laughs> there's always a metal man! The metal man can, the metal man can. Oh, well, time for a scene. Oh, it's night. Okay, that explains what was happening. I was like, wait, it's kind of a weird place for a scene where there's like nothing around. I was planning on going into Abbey and changing my ways, like, seems it might be fate that stopped the ferry running, eh? I'm hearing the voice of the goddess tell me not to bother with all that and to just continue the old life of crime. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just, sometimes just fate intervenes. Not far from Peregrine Quay on the southern continent, there's a famous place of pilgrimage called Mela Abbey. That's where I was planning to go, but who knows when that ferry would finally take me there. 
don't have time to argue. I want you to put out to sea now. My apologies, Miss Jessica, but the waters are simply too dangerous at the moment. Haven't you been listening? I told you I'd take care of that. Please forgive me, Lady Jessica. There'll be hell to pay from the Albert family if we put you in danger. Is there anyone around here with half a brain? Jessica, that's rude. Ah, speak of the devil. I'm not the devil, I'm Yangus. You're the travelers from the tower. Didn't I tell you to wait for me in Alexandria? You left. I wanted to properly apologize to you. Well, whatever. I'm glad you're here now. Actually, I have a favor to ask. Would you mind coming over here for a minute? Um, okay. So, you're saying you won't let me fight the sea monster? Well, yes, but... But I mean... Fine. Fine. Not to worry. I've asked these sturdy men to take care of it for me. Okay? Oh. Oh, oh. Actually, we've been looking for someone to take on that very job ourselves. Well, there you have it. Everyone's happy. Can I count on you guys? I knew I could count on you. I still can't get what we saw in the tower out of my mind. Who is this Dolmagus? And what does he want? And why did he murder my brother? I'll track him to the ends of the earth. But first, we've got to make the waters safe for ships to sail. The sea monster that's standing in our way is supposed to be pretty strong. You'd better be prepared. I'll be waiting here. Come back as soon as you're ready. <clears throat> okay, well, we know where we gotta go. <clears throat> I don't suppose I can use the alchemy pot now. I'd probably have to go outside and talk to the dude. He can try it. No sense in, no harm in trying. If not, then we'll save and... <laughs> I like how the well is marked on the map. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, you're just you're just, just gonna say the same stuff. All right, never mind. <laughs> okay, that's the church. Let's go sleep at the inn. Let's read their books. It's a book entitled "The Ship in the Dunes." One night, weak and weary, as I trot through a wasteland dreary, I chanced upon the ruins of an ancient ship. Why was it abandoned so far from the sea? I was never able to determine a satisfactory answer, and in fact pondered the question of, to this very day. Could ancient ships sail on land as well as sea? I wonder if this fateful and mysterious discovery will never cease. Okay, no cool books. People who came over to ferry are saying something about seeing a man walking across the sea. Can that really be true? Holy Walter! Oh, I'm stuffed, Mum. I can't eat no more. <laughs> well, you better. Ten gold coins! Oh no! In case, in case this next fight with the sea monster or whatever it is a little gets a little hairy, we shall save. Let me make sure there's no hidden goodies around the back of the church. Now, they always keep the best stuff in the back. Okay, 
It's like a big lighthouse. Make sure I wasn't missing out on anything super important on Discord. Well, we're probably about as ready as we really can be. Let us find out how things go. Well, I guess let's go up here because I didn't know this is an up place I could go. It's just a bar, huh? I heard the news about poor Alistair's death. I wonder how everyone in Alexandria is coping. I'm quite concerned to tell you the truth. Hey, have you ever met Miss Jessica from Alexandria? Now that's what I call real sight for sore eyes. She's a bit spirited at times. If she's any sailor's dream, I can tell ya. Hi there, go ahead and make yourself comfortable. If you've come to see me dance this early in the day, you must be straining at the leash, but you just have to wait till tonight. I mean, you're 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 lovely, but I've got things to do. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Poet. I came here from Alexandria on the South Continent. I, w I waited a long time for that ferry, and certainly didn't expect this journey to be so eventful. What a strange experience! Well, let's make sure we're not missing out on any goodies. Set sail. Okay then. Quartermaster, prepare the ship. Aye, aye, sir. Kind of cool that little, this ship has little wheels, little water wheels. Most most ships don't have that. God, its tentacles have name. Its tentacles have names and personalities. <laughs> That's right, tentacles. They don't have that at all. They don't. No. 
That's why Calamari's gonna stand up for all the poor creatures of the sea. Starting by eating these here humans. Jesus. Eat them right up. Just next in the air as it plows into the enemy. <laughs> I bet AO3 writers had a field day with that. Ow. Well, this seems a little, um, slanted in a bad direction. I'm gonna try Heartbreaker until it works or until I'm out of MP. Uh, what you doing now, Calamari? Oh, you hit both of us, okay. I got a feeling Heartbreaker's not working, so I probably should just... Yeah, whatever, it's not like it's hurting nothing. Hero managed to dodge, nice. That's just one less heal I gotta do on Hero right now. Um Yeah, I think I'll risk I think I'll risk an attack with Mabes there. Just to add a little bit more damage. Oh, that's not cool. It seems like our speeds are pretty close to each other in that case. I probably, I should probably be a higher level than what I am in that case, but. I just want to make sure that Mabus stay Mabus stays alive so that Mabus can keep healing Yangus. Great, I could be using herbs instead of heal, but I might as well use heal if I've got it. Yeah, I don't want another one of those to happen. That would not be good. Okay, we won. Get in the fucking ocean. <laughs> nice. First tribe victory. Didn't even look that boss up. I'm just like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. 
No! No! They were stronger than we thought! We give up! We give up! <laughs> no, sure, it wasn't our fault at all! It was his! That's right, you modest! That jester, he came walking on top of the water to us! Just walked over us! He did! <laughs> Pretty cheeky of a human to pull that little trick off me thought. So we talked to him, we did. But when he talked, our head got all cloudy like, and we started attacking ships. We did, we did. <laughs> it wasn't us, it was that jester, it was. Is this by way of an apology like? Oh. We found it in the ocean, we did. Go on, take it, mate. It's the least we can do! Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> I guess. Well, that is all from us. We are leaving now. We are. Have a pleasant trip. So long. <laughs> God, the characters in this game are so good. Not bad, guys. You're a lot stronger than you look. You know, we've never properly introduced ourselves. I'm Jessica. Jessica Albert. And who might you be? I'm Yangus, and this is the Gov. <laughs> Yangus and the Gov, is it? <laughs> right. The Gov. Thanks again for your help with the sea monster. Now, let's find Dormagus. I'm sure you need to get ready first, so let's head back to Port Prospect. I'll tell the captain to weigh anchor. Oh, I almost forgot. I called you two thieves back at the tower, and I never formally apologized, so... Forgive me! Oh, that's anyway, definitely a way to apologize. To the Forgive me! <laughs> on deck! My anchor and prepare to come about! We're heading back to Port Prospect! Frankly, I'm lucky I didn't get any double turns where, the, where that boss, like, double swiped at me. With the AoE hit. took care of the sea monster, so I got them to agree to wait for us. I figured you'd like to rest and buy provisions before we set sail again. I'll be waiting for you here. Don't take too long now. We've got work to do. So thoughtful. Yeah, we're gonna go rest at the end, probably by... You know, we'll buy an herb or two from this lady in case there's, like, something that, like, you get from being charitable. Which, I mean, I don't mind being charitable in general, but, you know. It's a little more expensive for herbs. Oh, wait. You sold me an antidotal herb. Hmm. In and a normal herb. Interesting. Let's say, like, that boss wasn't, like, difficult, but it got a little close a few times. In part because I was just using heal to heal, and I couldn't fully recover all the damage, so I had to get a little lucky and not get double attacked by, like, fire or the tentacle swipe.
Give me one sec, one of my cats is making a weird noise, I wanna make sure they're alright. All right, crisis averted. My cat was making a weird noise because he's a weird cat. He's a silly boy, but I wanted to make sure he wasn't like didn't like eat something and something he's not supposed to, because he's he's done that before. He's eaten hair ties and gotten them stuck in his little belly, and he had to have surgery. So if he's doing weird shit, I usually try to pay more attention to it, because he's um he's a little silly boy. All right, so let's go. Let's go see Jess and get 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 across this this water. That was quick. Are you okay with set sail already? Come on, then. Let's get going. We have to hurry and catch up with Dual Magus. Actually, before we go, I have a favor to ask. Uh oh. You're after Dual Magus, just like I am, right? We're fighting for the same reasons. So, I was thinking, why don't we do this together? I haven't been studying magic for long, but I still have a lot to offer. What do you say? I've got a great feeling about this. Thanks, guys. Now she's a party member. Which means she's going in the back of the party so she doesn't oh, get smacked around too hard. Now that that's taken care of, let's go. Just where do you think you're going without me and my beautiful princess? <laughs> Naruto, run, go! All hands on deck! Way anchor! Prepare to set sail for Peregrine Key! Peregrine Key? I didn't know that's how that word was pronounced. That's not how that word looks. He's just sitting on a barrel. Just oh, there you are. Two boys on a barrel. What are you two up to? Up to? Me and the gov was just talking, that's all. Gov, huh? I've been meaning to ask you about that. You know, he doesn't exactly look like your governor. If anything, it looks the other way around. What's the story? Well, I'm glad you asked. The story of how me and the Gov fell in together is an epic tale, full of laughter, frills, and tears. It is, is it? Well, why don't you just give me the highlights? All right, I will. It all started on a fine summer's day. The sound of insects was deafening. 
No, oh, we get to actually find out I how. I just decided to make a <sighs> clean break of it. I was well acted off with the old bandithood. So I decided to leave the town that I lived in my whole life and start a fresh life. Are we actually doing a flashback chapter? Or is it just a flashback? I ain't exactly a looker, as you can see. Perhaps that's why people treat me funny everywhere I went. Like I was a thief or something. I didn't have no place to go. And not a penny to me name, neither. So I ended up going back to the old game. <clears throat> and that's when I run into the gov here. Hold it right there. Who gave you permission to use Mar Bridgeton, eh? Permission? Permission? Your bridge lies within my kingdom, you oaf. What are you on about? A creepy old codger like you? A king? Don't make me laugh. I see your mouth is as vulgar as your face. Yes, I'm the king. And who exactly do you think you are? Me? Hearing my name is enough to make anyone wet their knickers. That's right! You're talking to none other than Yangus, the legendary bandit himself. Yangus? The one and only. Time to cough up. You have to pay if you want to cross my bridge. The one and only Yangus? What a shame there aren't more of you. Now, kindly <laughs> remove your one and only self from my bridge and clear off. Mm, don't push your luck, you green-faced freak. I would have let you go if you'd have kept your gob shut and paid up. But you want to do this the hard way, eh? <laughs> Oh, you broke the bridge. Uh, mm. <laughs> now, my boy, now's our chance to cross. Oh, <laughs> card almost ate shit. Just more blade luck. Uh oh. <laughs> Me too, bud. Now that's what I call just desserts. As the saying goes, crime doesn't pay. Let us carry on then, my boy. There, there, my precious Medea. Did the bad man scare you? Oh, Hero is just a nice dude. King Trode, stop Naruto running over here. But he attacked us. Why the devil are you helping him? Just leave him. It's poetic justice. Nay, divine justice. Thank you, Governor. I thought I was done for. <sighs> what is the world coming to? Yangus, was it? You can show your gratitude by getting out of our sight. <laughs> You're having a laugh. What? Still here? If you won't do us the favor of leaving, I'll be happy to provide some encouragement. <laughs> Mister? No, no, Governor. I really owe you. You saved my life and everything. You're the bee's knees, Gov. Gov? What is this nonsense? Are you a complete imbecile? This boy is my retainer. If you're in anyone's service, it's mine. Put a sock in it. I ain't talking to you. He's the one who saved me. <laughs> 
bucket? <laughs> Who do you think you're speaking to, you, you good-for-nothing scoundrel? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> It's a little chipmunk speak arguing. So that's how you met. But what happened to all the laughter, thrills, and tears? Well, I'm not finished yet. This is the best bit. I haven't told you about how the gav helped me go straight. Whatever. Ugh, straight. You can tell me all about it later. Right now, I need some fresh air. I should have known a bird wouldn't get a story like ours, gav. Still, no skin off my nose. A bird. She's clearly not a bird. Look at her. No, oh, same thing. She's clearly a woman. <laughs> I've seen birds before. Was that really Miss Jessica from? Out? Yes. Well, don't look too close. Put an eye out. Put up nice today, eh? This is boat travel at its best. It's these like these that make us think how the life of a sailor ain't half bad. Do I go straight onto Mela Abbey for the straight life, or do I go down down to Oil Pickham Town? I suppose this is like a crossroads of me life, really. Imagine the effort it must have taken to go from rafts and the like to enormous vessels like this. It's absolutely fascinating. What's gonna be going on? I often end up musing about civilization when I'm on a boat. Must be the sea air. That horse sitting up there is a real beauty. I don't think I've ever seen such a fine beast. The more I look at her, the more elegant she seems. That's because she's a princess! I'm gonna break these. I'm gonna break one of these on you! <laughs> Evil! I, I I know, right? I'm super evil. Here's one for the horse. <laughs> oh, pot lid. Funny enough, that's actually a, probably a shield that Jessica can wear, so we're gonna hold on to that. But hello, Nurkura. Welcome. I'm at a loss. The monster-like creature has gone and made himself co comfortable in my room. Doesn't the captain command any respect nowadays? I've asked him over and over again, but he just says that someone more important than me needs the use of it. He's gone and strewn his luggage all over the place as well. The cheek of it. I mean, he is the king, so... Diary of a Ferryman. Whenever I set sail from Port Prospect, I always see a tiny island. The island is about a tiny speck in the vast ocean, but in fact a small building. Perhaps even a castle? It appears to be standing there. Who would live in a place like that? I have a feeling that's where the metal man lives. Can I get some free shit? Ooh, bronze knife. It's probably something for Jessica, I'd imagine. Hello, King Trode. Oh, alchemy pot. He's got it. I did it. I did it. I finally did it. Ah, there you are. Perfect timing. I've got something to show you. Ta-da! Looks like a normal pot, doesn't it? But it's actually a legendary alchemy pot. I can see that doesn't mean much to you. <laughs> Allow me to explain. The alchemy pot is an invaluable tool for making different kinds of items. Great, just what I needed. It lets you mix different ingredients to create hard to find items, armor, and weapons. I know I got lost in the weeds with alchemy in DQ9, so I can only imagine. After my kingdom was cursed, yeah. I thought it might come in handy and managed to spirit it out of the castle. But that's not all. I spent night after night trying to get it working again. Uh, no, no, you can thank me later. How gracious right. of you. Well, it's in my carriage, so why don't you give it a try? It's surprisingly easy to use.
Captain, land ho! Oh. Or do it be his crown in the castle? He got cursed. Belay the rigging and prepare to make port. Aye, aye, sir. Well, I didn't expect that to be the thing that ends the the, the boat journey. Bring us alongside Peregrine Cave. He got cursed by Dual Magus and turned into a little gremlin. And his and his daughter got turned into a horse. <laughs> You know, just fantasy stuff. Well, it looks like we've arrived. I'll meet you outside town with Medea and the carriage. It wouldn't do to stir up the natives again with my... Extraordinary appearance. Now that's what you could call it. Naruto run, go! <laughs> Alright, let's take a look here. Uh oh, she's got a whip. Okay. I might just keep her with that because that's a multi that's a group hitting uh, weapon. I can imagine she probably can equip this uh Knife though. Yeah, she could. Yeah, she's a mage, so she can equip the knives. Uh, she probably, she could probably equip this too. Yep, that's what I, I thought so. It's weird that Mavis can't wear that when Mavis has a, a better shield. Uh, let's actually check to make sure we she can't use the scale shield before I sell it. Oh, she can. That's actually a big boost to defense. Might as well. Alright, uh... Seed of Wisdom. It's probably something to use on Jessica, I would imagine. There we go. And a go pure gold bracer. For now, she's gonna get that, because her defense is the lowest, and her HP is by far the lowest. Oh goodness, she's level 9. They're expecting us to fight that big squid at level 9. Fuck that. <laughs> that would have been awful. Like, Mavis would have had, like, probably like, 15 to 20 less HP. That would have sucked shit. Alright. What do you got? What do you got to sell? Nothing new? Alright. Uh, what about the other shop? Are you the church? You look like the church. This guy looks like the church. He is a church. Uh, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> just breaking his ba his barrels. He's just looking at me while I'm breaking his barrels. He's like, what? He's like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Let's see. Skill armor. That robe would be pretty, pretty nice. I'm trying to see if there's some way to to show like different uh stats for the uh, armor, but pointy hat. Well, we're gonna buy one of the we're gonna buy one of those for Yangus because it's cheap and it's actually pretty good uh, boost to defense. Oh, fine. Yangus gets a chainmail. We have enough money from just random grinding to get this stuff. We're not going to sell anything else right quick, just in, in the event that... What's this? What are you talking... Oh, now what? 
Now I'm really in trouble. This is my treasure chest, but I've gone and lost the key. I don't care about what's inside, but if I can't use the chest, then I can't do business. I wonder if anyone's got a key that might fit. If only. Um, so can I have this one? Ah, that one's locked. And that one's locked. So I probably need the thieves key. Which I'm sure we'll find pretty soon. It's still the first, like, er I'm still, it's still pretty early game. That's usually when you find the, uh, thieves key. In most, in these DQ games. Just throw it right at him. Oh, you're a weapon shop. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have spent all my money. Oh, never mind. You have a thorn whip, which is an improvement, but... I might need to do some grinding outside to get some money. I can imagine the money outside is better than the money outside at the other place anyway, so it probably won't be too bad. Plus, maybe there's some goodies we can make with alchemy that will sell for some money. I know in a DQ9, there was like some gold armor or something that you could like make where you... It, t it cost a lot to buy to get to buy the stuff to make it, but you made a tiny, you made a, a small profit from buying all the stuff and selling it. So once you got a good amount of money, you could just like scale it up and make a bunch of money with that. So I wonder if there's something similar in this game. Ooh, a seed of magic. Okay, that gives you MP. Herbal concoctions for oh perfect. I've been I've been trying to I've been hoping no oh, excuse me I've been hoping I would find a uh, alchemy book here somewhere. Do you know that you can improve the effect of herbs you purchase in shops? Yes, alchemy is the answer. Try mixing two of the same herb together. You'll get an herb with a stronger healing capability. There are many other ways to combine medicinal and antidote herbs. Experiment with the combination. See for yourself. Medicinal herb. Medicinal herb. I, th I, pretty, I think I already knew that one, basically. Sailors. So we've got a special treat for our readers. An exclusive interview with the lovely and lively Mrs. Red, a rich adventurous who owns her very own pirate, uh, private ship. Mrs. Red was kind enough to give us a personal tour of the classy lady. She confided to us, You wouldn't believe what I had to go through to get this ship, I can tell you. Second thoughts, I better not tell you. Statu statu statute of limitations ain't quite run out yet. All I can say is this, I'd give me left arm to keep the old, whole, old this beauty. Well, it'd be harder to hold on to it then, wouldn't it? If you don't, if you, if you're missing an arm, it's a little hard to hold on to things with only one arm. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything actually up here if I'm just kind of wasting my time. It's kind of a coin flip. There might be something up here worth worth my worth the trouble. Maybe some info. Looks like this is probably like a torch. Yeah, it is. If you're interested in alchemy, you should always try to look through any bookshelves you come across. You'll find alchemy recipes all over the place once you start looking. It can be a bit confusing when you find more than a few, so make sure you write them down so you don't forget them. There's no need to look look like that. You'll jot them down without even thinking about it. It's no hardship. While you're here, you should probably think about buying the broad bronze knife or two. It could be coming useful with the old alchemy pot. Wink, wink! <laughs> probably heard of the Templars, right? Nah. Really? You've never heard of them? I can tell you all about them. Templars live at Mela Abbey, which is just over that way. They're there to keep the peace at the Abbey and make sure no harm comes to Abbot Francisco. They're all strong and clever and really good looking too. They're the coolest of the cool. Why don't you go and see for yourself? I spend every day gazing at the Abbey and imagining them over there. Obsessed much? <laughs> Make them sound like a super sentai kind of force. They're so they're so hot and so dashing and so good. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. It's like they're like Power Rangers, but for Christ. <laughs> well, I guess not for Christ in this game, because it's a goddess, but... Same difference. Ah, there you are. I've been waiting for you. I hope you haven't forgotten about the alchemy pot. 
You really should give it a try. What's that? You say you don't know what to make? Well, I'm sure you'll find some recipes as we travel around. Keep your eyes peeled. Let's have a look inside your bag. Hmm. You don't seem to have enough items to make anything just yet. Why don't you have another look around Peregrine Key and see if you can find any recipes? Well, come on, then. Look around and see what you can find. I found one. I found one for herbs. Now form an image in your mind of what you'd like to make and choose the ingredients carefully. Oh, come on. All right, well, that's kind of annoying. All right, cool. So it's not instant. Well, that's kind of that's kind of awkward. I guess I'll do a fight or two and see if that triggers the pot to be done. Oh, bullfinches and a dog with like <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's great. <laughs> that name is too good. Oh, she's fast. Damn, Jess, you're fast. These enemies are a step up. Oh, well. Alright, that works. Level 12. Seven skill points, alright. I guess if we checked out the pot now, maybe it's just like one battle. Well, at least they give you the option to kind of cancel the, the, the craft, I guess. Alright, so the lineup's already kind of I, how I would want it to be anyway, so... Alright, I guess let's uh, fight a little bit more. Ooh, do we have something over here? What's this? Kind of just on the overworld here. Oh! Alright. Oh, you're fast. That's just uncomfortable. I have a feeling this is a stronger monster than most of the others in there. Ow! Jeez! Well, they did psych up, but... Alright, yeah, that was a, a bit tougher of a fight. Mullet Mallet is defeated. A copper monster coin. Huh, what's that? Did it destroy this town? It might have. Uh, let's find out what this copper monster coin is. Copper, a copper coin dropped by special monsters when defeated can be sold for money. All right. Increased MP. Um. Well, Jessica doesn't seem like she has much MP yet. 
But I'm tempted to give it to Yangus because he doesn't have much MP at all. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll we'll give this one to Yangus. Give him just a another use of a spell or something. Seat of Defense. Uh, let's, um... Well, now I know that um, that enemy is a bit harder. Uh, I, I can imagine there might be some harder enemies in this area we're in now, but there's a treasure chest, so that's kind of what I want but more than anything. Oh, it's locked. Great. Cool. Didn't want it anyway. <laughs> oh, dinglings! Hello, dinglings! Oh my god, look at him. Oh god, they're gonna kabuff themselves to high hell, aren't they? Uh oh! Uh oh! <laughs> Alright, Jargon's gonna need to get killed. I know what these guys can do. If these dinglings can call for help, they need to, um, not do that. Uh-oh. Oh, well, that works. Oh, those, those suck. I hate, I don't like these anymore. And they're kind of cute and funny, net, but, like, mm. But yeah, this is a nasty fight. Yeah, I was afraid of something like that. Yep, she did. Um. Well, the, well, the damn bells are dead. No kidding, I need to get out of this area. Like, af like immediately. Surprise boss. It, it didn't, it, it mostly was those bells that uh, called um, these, these two guys for help. But, yeah, whatever. Sucks that Jessica died, but we'll just revive her back in town. That's probably more than enough money to do so. Yeah, let's get out of this area. <laughs> we have some Chimera Wings we can use. Yeah, let, let's not do that again. Let, we'll fight stuff that's a little closer to town to try to get Jessica some, some levels. Because she got clobbered hard. Like... I, got, I remember those. I remember so, some of those uh, jargon kind of enemies from uh, DQ11. Like one of the bo one of the first uh, bosses was named Jarvis, and he had like breath attacks like that. So I was like, uh oh. I kind of figured those were gonna be bad news, but like, yeah, it was. Oh, 50, That's not bad. 
Bring our beloved Jessica back to this world! Wake up, motherfucker! We got shit to do! No, no, I don't want to talk to you again. I will after we go to the inn. Because I need to save to make sure I don't lose progress. Because I all that, that could have went much worse if those jar, if the, some of those Jargononies didn't just stare blankly into space. Like if they if they just spam that their breath attack, I could have got wiped easily. I will rest till evening. We can fight some of the monsters outside that are a little harder. Hopefully, it's not those monsters. <laughs> yeah, surprise boss fight, basically. I have, I, have, I have to make a confession in the dead of night. Yeah, currently, Jessica's not very good. She's level 9, she's got Frizz and Sap, that's about it, and... She's got 41 HP, so anything that anything that kind of like roughly looks at her, she'll just, just probably just kill her, which sucks. But not much you can really do about it until we get her some XP. And well, she missed out on that big chunk of XP from that fight because well, she died, and I don't have any way to res people yet. So, all right, what do we got out here? Oh, little oh god, these little eye guys. Got chain nine. <laughs> let's let's kill the lump mage. I know they can be a, a problematic. Oh well, that's problematic. The little eye guy's cute. Yeah, I know lump mages can be problematic in general. We'll, we'll kill the winky last if it survives all the boomerang attacks or whatever. I mean, it's just like a little guy. It, you're cute, so you die last for now until like you get some until like the higher forms get like annoying spells or something. Oh my god, it, it, it's even cute when it dies. <laughs> it just kind of falls over on its little booty. Ooh, level up. 9 HP, some more goodies. 3 skill points. Kind of a bummer that, that the hero only gets like 3 per level. The Genghis gets like 6. Doesn't matter how much damage people took, I'm just gonna heal anyway, cause we're right next to town anyway, so if I need to recharge my MP, it's not hard, but. Hello, other horse! But I figure getting Jessica at least one level up is probably a good idea. She slimes! Hello, little friends! Goodbye. <laughs> not very much XP, and they're not very hard, but they're kind of cute. Oh, I think I think that means the alchemy pot's done. The, just the ting, the ding, whatever. Ah, oh, the moment of truth, I can hardly wait. Let's see what you've concocted. A strong medicine, okay. Well, if I'm not mistaken, that's a strong medicine. Well done, Yangus. You've created a rare item indeed. This is the first specimen I've ever seen. Try a good show, keep it up. I'm looking forward to seeing more of your work.
Let's see. You can only do one at a time? Oh, that's awful. Well... Very well. Oh, damn it, I pressed circle to go back. I thought... I pressed circle and it's confirmed, not back. Whatever. Alright, well... We'll make up some of those while we're training anyway, and then we'll, we'll have some of those for like a boss fight or something. Flies. At her current power level, the whip is better than Frizz a lot of the times. Well, I guess on smaller enemies, probably especially, but like, hmm. Uh oh! Well, thank goodness for that! Okay, they didn't seem that dangerous, but I also get, they get the drop on them. Ooh, that XP is nice, though. Hmm, what's up here? Hopefully I'm not going to find shit that's going to kill my ass up here, too. If I find those bells, I'm running away. <laughs> hmm, doesn't seem like there's anything up here. Oh, Morphean Mushrooms! Woo! Spooky! They get they took every opportunity to give Jessica jiggle physics. Every single opportunity. <laughs> I would be lying if it wasn't a little distracting. Oh, that's a nasty attack. Alright, that wasn't really worth the uh, fight, so... Oh, there is something over here. wonder if I need the key for it. Thankfully not. File of magic water, okay. Chainines! Let's try a sizz. Rude. <laughs> Is 
Stop it! <laughs> Well, this isn't exactly how I thought this battle was gonna go. I'll say. Finally, okay. Well, that's better than I was expecting her stats to level up by. I was expecting like 2 or 3 HP, so 6 is much better. Ooh, Crack's also much... 9 skill points? Okay, uh, let's see. Knives... Whip... I'm not saying that. The, the, la the lady's thong. I know, I know that word's not specifically for, you know, clothing, but... <laughs> Let's see. Staves. When a, sta when a staff is equipped, your maximum MP and magic power, attack power will increase. This skill is a boon for learning all sorts of spells. Probably what I'll do. And then sex appeal. Great. Um, let's go with staves. I don't have a staff yet, but... When we get one, we'll have some good benefits with it. Ooh. She just learns spells that way, too? Okay. That alone makes it worth it. Because she just learned Kasap and Accelerado? Good shit. Good for bosses. So her first level up, she's already become way more useful. Just keep fighting some stuff, I guess. This this hilltop up here seems like a good, uh, the sweet spot for enemies. These moths live up here. Oh, t oh yeah, just good time to do some crack. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a that's a nice damage boost. Whoosh, huh? Ingus took a lot more damage that from that than anyone else did. Interesting. Alright, well, just cause out of MP, so I should probably head back. Oh. Alchemy pot. Let's let's grab our our medicine. It's a shame you can't make things in batches like you can in DQ9. It's a shame you have to like wait too. Now, let's see if we can combine, uh, strong medicines together. Hmm, I do believe you're onto something here. Yep, I figured. I, f I figured if they say that, it means you probably have a matching recipe, even if you don't know the recipe. So... We'll let that go for a while, and if it ends up failing, then we'll try again, but I have a feeling that's probably the superior medicine. Which is a 60 heal, which would be good for boss fights. <clears throat> 18 gold to heal when it, we get like 30 from like kind of small battles. Not bad. Yeah, I know we're just kind of like fighting monsters right now, but I'm trying to... I would like to get Jessica up at least another level for survivability's sake. We can also just check out what the enemies are like during the day up on that like ridge that I was fighting stuff at. It might not be that much different. Just kind of like up here somewhere. Let's see. Maybe the moths aren't here, but the bullbirds are. And they're asleep. It's early in the morning. They're trying to catch some sleep.
Uh, let's see. Kasap is four. Crack is three. So Rumble is three. Uh, you know, let, let's let's Kasap the uh, bullfinches. Well, one of them's still asleep. Maybe I should buy the better whip for Jessica, even though I've got her on stabs for skill points. We'll see. It might be worth it, it might not be. For now, it's we're not going to, but... Nah, I don't know. Man, that one bullfinch is just determined to stay asleep. There they go. Well, the XP and stuff doesn't seem like it's much different than at nighttime, so I'm not gonna really worry too hard about, like, being at nighttime to fight enemies. Alright. I was just gonna roughhouse with some. I mean, maybe there's some enemies up here during the day that aren't here at night. Like, those mushrooms might not be here during the uh, day. Oh, the moths are still here. Oh, that's fine. They're not really that hard. They have whoosh, but whatever. That only really does damage to Yangus. So. We will use a like regardless of her H her current HP. She's damaged. We are healing her because it's, it doesn't take much to kill Jessica at this point. So we're just trying to keep her alive so she can get XP to level up. I figured the she slimes aren't really that scary, so we're gonna just like not bother targeting them directly. Ooh, bullfin dropped to chest. A oh boy, a cow patty, my favorite. She, uh, I'm back, baby. Welcome back, hail. We're, we're just kind of grinding some XP up for Jessica because she was like level 9 when we were like level 11, so we're just trying to get her level up so she's doesn't die as easily because, yeah, she got clobbered earlier pretty hard. Chainine, I love that, I love that name. It's, it's, ra it's rather good. It's, it's a rather good name. Oh, those bullfinches hit pretty hard for what they are. They were just running around up this top area up here, just clobbering monsters. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I can justify a heal to them now. There we go. I don't even know where I'm wandering around now. I'm just kind of wandering around up here.
Oh, that's annoying. Any, if Jessica takes any amount of damage, I heal it because I'm not about ha to have her just die from like a like a surprise burst of damage on her. I'm guessing that's probably where we need to go. Oh hey, the alchemy pot's done. Let's see if this the recipe is a success. And a special medicine. Okay, nice. That's another exceeding rare item you made. That'll be good for a boss fight. Let's make up some more, uh... You can only make one thing at a time. So DQ9 definitely has a way more robust alchemy system. Like, you can only make, like, one herb at a time. So, like, you can't just make up, like, a whole big batch of special medicines or something. Like you can in 9. You have to make, like, one... One one strong medicine at a time, and then one special medicine. Oh, these guys are cute! Look at them! Winkies! I, I care them. But not that much. Hello, Winkies! They get, they, there's gotta be something to them that they can do. Because otherwise they're just not doing anything. Oh well, Winkies. That would be infuriating. Yeah. So, I'm... Basically what I'm doing is, um, just kind of making stuff while I'm grinding anyway. Surely these things can do something eventually that isn't just one damage. Because they're just kind of not very threatening. at all, but they're in the area, so... Oh, it's red now! I don't know if that means anything. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe it went into rage mode and then it just died, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. No idea. At this point, they're just XP, other than being cute. I wanted to get kind of back close to town, because I think I just got a little low on MP. Uh, 12? Alright, cool. Just use crack, I guess. Up. Yeah, with crack, Jessica can do but just about as much damage as Aegis can now. Oh, maybe not now, because Aegis just leveled up. 11 HP, alright. He's, he's, he's thick. Attack power equipped by, equipped by 10 when he is equipped with a clever hammer. Nice, yep, that's gonna make him hit even harder. Uh, how much? Uh, Jessica's still got a few spells in her, so we'll use that MP up. Depending on if she levels up or if someone else levels up, we might just head on to the next place. Because that Abbey place looks like it might actually be a town. Or if maybe that's just a different town. Winkies! Hello, little friends!
Okay, cool. I'm not gonna do that because that seems like it could give someone motion sickness watching that. We'll just kind of walk around and then turn, walk around, and turn. Oh, they're sleepy. Look at them. They're just sleepy little guys. surprised that that's something they can do it's like that one changes like complexion turn red maybe that's what they do when they turn red is they get really strong but still just really weak anyway so hard to say <laughs> there we go I was hoping to get just get another level up before we would leave more MP good five agility holy shit she's gonna be fast she already is fast Sizz, ooh, evac, nice. Nine more skill points. Well, it's a staff, a staff analyst. Twenty MP when she's using a staff. She, we don't have a staff for her yet, but uh, let's see. We got we got one more cast of crack in us. We'll we'll do that and then we'll. Stay at the end and then we'll head to the next town or place or whatever. I figure spend like 20 minutes or so just dedicated grinding is probably for the best because this game's uh, power curve seems pretty uh, strong. At least that can put dings whenever it's ready. Oh, strong medicine seal 50 or so 50 or more that's not bad I might just make a bunch of those right now while I'm grinding Cause that's still better than that's still better than whatever I could heal with the hero probably so those would be useful for boss fights by themselves it, it is a very pleasant thing at least I got that right. Wait, was I gonna use another spell with uh, Jessica? Probably, but eh, it's fine. That grinding also gave us an opportunity to get a nice amount of gold back up from after we got into town and bought a bunch of upgrades. And I'm sure we'll get a bit more money on the way there too. <laughs> dude, that's not a ding, that's a dude. <laughs> oh, more winkies. Uh, sis, yes, please. It's like frizz, but on everybody. That's gonna probably make grinding a bit faster too, is just having uh I mean this battle still took two turns anyway, but I mean Wink gives you a pretty good XP, honestly. And what weapon does Yangus even have still? He still has this giant mal- yeah, we've had that for a while now, so hopefully we can, uh, get something new soon. As is he doing? He's doing strong work with just what he has. I, I think I could have gotten him, like, an axe or something or a scythe that does more damage, but that's not what he's skilled into, you know, so. Oh, Winky.
That was a clean turn right there. We like that. We like to see that. Hmm. Can we go in here or is this just like some farmland? Huh. Hmm. Alright, well. Oh yeah. That's gonna make these chain irons a little less painful to deal with. Only a little though, because they're still kind of like awkwardly thick. Let's see, how's our... We started another alchemy pot, right? I'm just gonna double check, because I'd rather check. Yep, we did. Okay. It is cool how they let you kind of stop it midway if, like, you change your mind. I see that chest out there, game. Don't think I didn't. Oh, sleepy times. Ooh, level up for hero here. 10 HP, 2 MP. 3, 4, 2, 2. Nice. It's pretty good level up. 4 skill. Ooh. Yeah, I originally put points into swords because I figured swords are great, but like, so far, the boomerang is a lot more useful. He's, he becomes a baby boomer. Oh no, you don't want to become a boomer. Ooh, okay, that'll help. She slime gives a medicinal herb. Ooh, bo double! Oh, we got we got a medicinal herb and literal shit. We love you love that you love to see it. I guess <laughs> there are all a bunch of goodies over there. I guess it looks like I'm probably not gonna be able to get over there now. I do see like a jewel bag or whatever over there. That's kind of cool. I bet that'd be a good place to grind money at some point. <clears throat> All right, you know what? We're gonna just like... Oh, they're so scary! Let's run away from the she slides! It's it's funny that they actually like run, like physically run away. I mean, it sucks you can only create one at a time, but it's fine. We'll just make them as we're like grinding. We gotta do a lot of grinding anyway. So it could be worse. Up, oh, shit! I keep I, I press I pressed circle, not not triangle. There we go. I'm guessing this is the um the monastery or abbey or whatever. Yeah, it sounds like an abbey. It's got that Dragon Quest Church music going on. Faithful servant of the goddess, how many our church assist you? Oh, don't talk to me in that way outside. When I'm outside, I'm free. <laughs> but when I go in the church, I'm not free. Oh, what's going on here? Mela Abbey is the most important place of worship on this continent. Like you, I have traveled far to pray here. Almighty Goddess, now may I be welcomed at the gates of heaven when I pass from this world? I have paid 5,000 gold coins! Oh Goddess, have I not paid enough? Please let me be rid of the debt collector once and for all. Well, that doesn't sound like a friendly place. This guy looks a little goofy and Little circle, little dot eyes. Unwashed vagrants are not permitted to approach the holy altar. May the goddess strike you down. This is exactly why the Templars need to guard it. 
Oh, fuck you too. I have a feeling something's awry here. It doesn't seem very, uh, friendly. Ooh, hello. Hello, god- Hello, goddess! <laughs> um... What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, you came over here on the ferry, did you? I do love boats. Oh, well, I mean, boats are cool. What about you? What do you have to say? Here at Mela Albi, we'll offer repose for the spirit. If it is repose for a body you seek, may I suggest you go across the river and take lodgings in Simpleton. Well, that's not a very nice thing to call a town. <laughs> Mela Abbey is a sacred place under the divine protection of the goddess. Leave your secular life at the door and pray for her mercy. If the weight of sin bears down upon you, may I suggest a contribution of gold to the abbey? She'll grant you an indulgence. Fuck that! No! We're not dealing with indulgences. I'm sure y'all know what indulgences were slash are. Oh, where is Angelo? I only came here to see him. And I never miss a day because every day is a new chance to capture a glimpse of my scrumptious hero. All the other boys are such bumpkins. They're all so boring. Hey, at least she knows at least she knows what she's about. Um, is there anyone else to talk to? Or is this dude? Mela Abbey belongs to the Trinity of Sacred Sites, along with the Holy Isle of Neos and Savella Cathedral. In his younger days, our Holy Premier, Lord High Priest, graced us with his presence here. Whenever we pray, we turn to face Savella Cathedral, where His Holiness resides. Totally not a cult. All right, what? Why? What are you? What are you guarding? Uh oh. It seems like these are people we need to actually talk oh. to. Who goes there? I don't know you. What are you doing in here? You need special permission to enter here. Well, that was fucking rude. Leave now, unless you want to die by a Templar sword. I ordered you to keep strangers out, not to be rude. We have a reputation. Do you want to sully the name of the Templars? Marcello! I'm sorry, Captain. I apologize for the heavy-handedness of my men. We've had some trouble with strangers of late. Our duty is to protect the Abbey. We cannot permit nameless travelers to wander around at will. Matters within the Abbey are trouble enough. But that's no concern of yours. This guy looks like he's possibly evil. I give it a coin flip. Yeah. <laughs> These are the Templars. That's anyway. what I was just saying. I trust you have no business here. <laughs> so I would ask you to leave. Like this guy just looks like hmm. That's like a 50-50 chance this guy is gonna fucking do evil I shit later. You. My men are ill at ease. I may not be able to stop them next time. We'll just have to club him over the head next time. How about that? Core blimey, what a fuck ass. Well, that changed the whole vibe of this place. The Abbey's demanding donations from me now, you know. It never used to be the case. Not when the old Templar captain was in charge. Yep. Sorry, I'm cutting in line. I don't want to talk to you. I already talked to you. I want to talk to this beady-eyed fuck. Ah, it is the anniversary of your grandmother's passing. Let us hold a special mass. Naturally, there will be the small matter of a fee. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay. It's just like real church. <laughs> just like real church. Okay. So I got a feeling there's like some um, weirdness going on here. It, it seems like it. Oh, do we have like shrines to all the previous like dudes? That's what it looks like. And a, and a bottle of juice. All oh, praise the juice. <laughs> the Jesus juice, if you will. Yeah, something feels off here. We should probably should just leave. 
And I guess go to Simpleton? If that's what it's really called? That's kind of a fucked up thing to call a town. But whatever. We'll save here for the This is like the only friendly dude. We'll save and then we'll uh, progress to the next place. <clears throat> I'm trying my best not to use guides for this game, unless I have to, just because I have more fun just kind of figuring things out. <clears throat> but I will use a guide if necessary, if we get like lost somewhere. Let's check our aqua pot. We can't really hear the ding. Both the it and iron top tip I'm sure it won't be long enough before it's ready. Okay. Yeah, we can't it looks like we can't check the alchemy pot like in town. Alright. Guess we're heading to the next place. I'm sure we'll be back to this Abbey place. Cause that what Cause yeah. Considering one lady was here just to specifically see some dude named Angela, we'll probably be back to do something with or about him. Oh, Winky. Stinky Winky. <laughs> the long lost Teletubby Winky. Oh, okay. Pot, pot's done. And for now, we'll just make a bunch of strong medicines while we're roaming around, and then if I need more of uh, special medicines, we'll make them up. <clears throat> Although I'm sure at some point there'll be a place where we can buy strong medicines, and then we can just, like, buy those and then make special medicines out of those instead. All right, what do we got? Is this is this the way to Simpleton? Welcome, programs. You are now entering Simpleton. All right. Hello, hunts. Bull finches. Those funky finches. It'd be worth it if we can find a, if we can buy a staff here in Simpleton. Hmm. This used to be a really lively little town, but all that changed when the Lord of the Manor passed away. It was the plague that got him, you know. But it hasn't done the, the <laughs> hasn't, but it hasn't done the cock and bull any harm. Night and day, all year round, you'll find me here serving the good people of Simpleton all the booze they can hold. That's great. Well, they got a church, they got an inn, and they got a bar. A really big bar. For, I mean, small towns usually have a mega church, but this one has a mega bar. And you know what? I, I'm down with that. <laughs> Did I already talk to you? I can't remember. Oh, Lord of Manor, who used to run things around here about ten years ago, was a right nasty piece of work. A corrupt, womanizing cheat he was. Everyone was glad when he kicked the bucket. He left a son behind, mind, by the name of Angelo. Ah, there's that name again. It's a crying shame for him, losing his family at such a young age. Now he's condemned to life at the Abbey. I suspect there's gonna be something... Oh, kitty! Er, purr... You don't sound like a kitty. Somebody, someone is trying to be a cat. A cat. Like I'm being, I'm doing cat things. Meow. <laughs> okay, there's nothing else here. Let's. <clears throat> I 
Look at how much of a cat I am! <laughs> Maybe we can find some more info about Angelo here. Ah! And so ends another glass. Time for the next round. Lord of the Manor, he used to rule the rooster on here, was a truly bad man. Yes. Bad through and through. His wife wouldn't give him a child, so he went off and had one with his maid. Just so as he'd have an heir. Of course, then his wife did have a child. Angelo, they called him. So the firstborn was hung out to dry. The maid was fired too, of course. And the illegitimate son was packed off to Mela Abbey without so much as a word. It's terrible fate if ever there was one. Hmm. Oh, we got the we got the, the casino song, and he got bar bunnies and dancers. Hiya, have a seat anywhere you like. Thanks, Han. I'll I'll put drinks on the table of anyone who's willing to pay. That's the only that's the way I do business. Oh, why well, are you talk to you? I want to talk to other people. I hope Angelo doesn't get himself into trouble. That man he's playing with against looks like a real bruiser. I have a feeling that dude is, uh, that one dude we talked to. That's it. Come and have a drink. Put your feet up and forget about the time. Uh, damn, you got a long-ass activation range, woman. <laughs> damn! I'm trying to talk to someone else. Leave me alone! Alright. <laughs> that Angelo fellow might be a Templar, but he certainly likes his drink and his gambling. Not to mention his women. He's a lowlife, alright. Ah, I wish I was him! I lost Angelo again today, just like yesterday, and the day before that. Hmm. Here's to another failure, then. <laughs> That's the spell. Oh. Well, you look like you look like a Templar. You might be Angelo. Let's talk to some other people first. You ask anyone here. Everyone knows us. We're the most famous simpletons there are. No one messes with us. So if you don't want to get hurt, you better get out of my sight. It's not the thousand gold coins you lost now, is it? What happened to my brother, the Gambling King, eh? I reckon there's something fishy going on. Ah, one more round. Come on, deal the cards. You still got gold to play with, have ya? Come on, then. I'm set. Watch it. You're not. You're not. You don't make fun of me, mate. I'm not giving up. Not when I've got cash left to play with. Now deal me in. Haha, <laughs> That's the way. Come on, then. On with the game. Yep. I'm guessing this guy is Angelo. Not now. I've almost got this game in the bag. What? What? You little run, you must be cheating! Take it easy. No need to get excited. I know it hurts when you lose and all, but. What? Oh, I get it. Oh! You're with him! Oh, Yang is about to punch a motherfucker. You wanna watch it? Don't go throwing accusations about. You don't wanna get on my wrong side. Take it easy, you guys. What are you, a couple of cavemen? Yes. Ah, oh, what are you doing? Think you'll get away with that just because you're a lady? <laughs> Table throw! Yeah, what's with you two, eh? Two blokes ganging up on one bird, behave. <laughs> Jesus. Bar fight! Bar fight! <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's it, you oaf. Those are my mates. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Here I was just like, what the fuck did I just walk into? <laughs> Yang is just having the time of his life. <laughs> okay, that's great. They're just there's just a bar fight and they're all just throwing they're just throwing fists. Oh little King Trode's like, whoa, this is awesome. So who are you? You don't look like simpletons to me. <laughs> well, appreciate that, I guess. Anyway, I owe you one. 
Thanks to you, I managed to pull that little caper off without being caught. Ah, he was cheating. Oh, such an easy mark. I got a bit carried away. <laughs> Jesus. Still can't hang around. Don't want any more trouble. Okay, dude. You don't have to ogle her too hard. What? I hope you weren't hurt by my little Jake. Are you alright? You're out of luck. I'm fine. Apart from you leering at me. Cheaty cheater. By way of thanks for helping me and as a memento of our encounter. The name's Angelo. I live at Maella Abbey. Dude's a bit of a sleaze. Show them that ring if you'd like to see me. I'll be expecting you. Au revoir for now. Maella Abbey. Oh, of course he's French. No wonder he's a sleaze bag. <laughs> God damn it, French people! <laughs> oh, here you are, Gov. I've been looking all over. Poor Hero's like, I don't know what to say to that. Probably nothing anyway, but just <laughs> gave that lot what for. <laughs> and Yangus is just beating up dudes. Hey, I hope you don't plan on keeping this ring. We're going to Myella Abbey right now to give it back to that smarmy cheat, whether he likes it or not. Hon hon hon, bonjour! <laughs> Is that how all French people are, Nakora? I know you're Canadian, that's like, kind of like, 80% French. So, I figure you're a valid person to ask the question. <laughs> See, what's this way? Is this just leave us out of town anyway? Probably. Oh, it's a jargon! Alright, this is just kind of where these live. Alright, well, let's beat its ass. Have a little crack, Mr. Jargon. Nothing a little, nothing a little crack you can't fix. <laughs> just, a, just a little bit of crack is good for the soul. Um... We probably need to head back. Oh, pot's done. Ah, okay, yeah, that probably is more the case of like European French people. <clears throat> that's that's a fair assessment. Yep, we'll just keep making these little medicines while I'm running around, so. We'll eventually have enough of them to be worth worth the shit. And once we're able to buy those, we'll probably buy those and then make special medicines that way. Hello, Jargon. Yeah, I'm glad it didn't go the way I was looking to go because we would have uh, completely missed going back to the Abbey where we need to go because, yeah, there's some weirdness going on. Oh, it's basically a free fight. All right. Thanks, bullfinches. <laughs> We're not fancy. That's okay. It's okay to not be fancy. I am a, I am a very simple space bean myself, so... 
I like simple things. I like meat and potatoes. I like sweet tea. <laughs> Oh wow, this is a pretty, um, chunky group. We're definitely gonna want to kill one of these Jargons first and foremost. And that's why, because that's going to do a lot of damage. God damn! Let's hope that they don't use another one of those. Okay. That could have been that could have been real bad if they both did flame breath. I didn't- she doesn't have any herbs on her, that's bad form on me. I'm lucky that I didn't get punished for that. That was a big encounter too, like... Jeez. That's gotta be like at least like 130 XP. Holy crap, even more. Alright. Well, damn. Well, that's a um, lot of XP. Good place to grind, but that was a bit scary. In part because those jargons can just put out a lot of damage really fast when they feel like it. We're gonna save and then we're gonna see what's uh, going on here with all uh, fuckboy. Cause don't get it twisted. That's what this Angelo guy is. He's a fuckboy. A surprisingly, like, infrequent thing in Dragon Quest games is the fuckboy party member. Not as common as in Tales of games, because, like, a lot of Tales of games have the, like, the frickin' lecherous asshole archetype going with them. Unwashed vagrants. Ah, oh, fuck you. We probably have to go talk to, the, to those Templar dudes. <clears> hmm, <throat> put up his credit at the pub again, did he? That boy's a disgrace. Very well then, Angelo's inside, get a move on. Quickly, steal everything! What? You are literal small, aren't you? Tippers always use their rings as tools since long before the abbey moved to its current home in the middle of the river. Apparently, they used to use them as keys of some sort back in the old day. Our sleeping quarters are upstairs. And the dungeon is at the bottom of those stairs. That's where we lock, lock up sinners. Oh! This really is just like Christianity, ain't it? At least this place is. That miserable, not miserable excuse for a Templar, Angelo, has been up at the pub again. His grog-soaked breath heaps, heaps shame on our Abbey. I suppose you've come to collect on debt he owes. He's in his room, just at the top of the stairs. Oh, I'm taking as much time as possible to look around this, this fucking place. Steal as much as I possibly can. Are you the chef, child? Our duty as monks is to serve the abbot and the Templars. We're here to take care of their meals and cl clean the abbey and whatnot. To give them anything they require, really. Well, that sounds fucking awful. Ooh, a mini metal. 
First one I've found so far. Abbot Francisco is a man of the utmost virtue. He embraces all those who have lost their family or are in need of a shelter. Gives them the chance to live here as members of the Abbey. The Templar is an elite class with unparalleled knowledge of both the sword and the scriptures. They are known as the Goddess of Steel, here to protect the Abbey and preserve peace and order in Mela's dominion. I'm sure that's great. Double doors look a little important. We're not going to go there yet. Got any other shit I can steal? Is this where, is this where you keep the hay? Prayer and hard work. Such is the life of a monk. Although there are those in the order who sneak off to the pub from time to time. I mean, if it's a known virtue, is it really sneak? Oh. Pot's done. Sounds like it's still does cook while we're in town. That's nice. And yeah, we'll just keep making some strong medicines. At some, at some point I'll probably look up the a recipe guide for this so I can see some useful recipes. So maybe we can make some cool items a little before we're really meant to have the recipes for them. Definitely something I want to do in DQ9 as well. Like, look up a recipe guide so you can, like, see how to make different weapons or whatever. But that's definitely what the Francisco guy probably... I mean, look at that. That's, like... I've traveled for days that, to ask the wisdom of the famous abbot Francisco, but the Templars refused to let me see him. I do hear there was a secret passage leading to the island from some dilapidated building nearby, but I just can't find the entrance. Hello, Mr. Bard. From what I hear, Abbot Francisco enjoys a good laugh. Apparently, he sometimes invites traveling performers to his residence on the quiet to enter entertain him. Alright, cool. Well, I guess we're kind of running out of places to, to steal things from in here, so we're probably about time to talk to, talk to shit-ass himself. Uh, let's see. It's probably not here, because they're guarding this. The captain manages all the Holy Father's affairs now that he is too frail to take care of matters himself. But he's not here. Just a short while ago, he went downstairs. Look, looking very pleased, I might warn you. He should be in the torture chamber now, giving Angela the dressing down he deserves. <laughs> I wish I could see it for myself. Oh! Alright. Templars are said to have begun as a collection of mounted guardsmen. They are appointed to protect large churches and keep the peace in important religious services. Our predecessors were spectacular to behold, flaunting the majesty of the church and the glory of the goddess. But they were nothing more than puppets, of course. The Templars of the day are very different. We are the knights of the goddess. Elite order, elite order of warriors of Mario. Oh, yeah, we're totally not puppets. That's totally different. Fucking amateurs. Can't you see I'm trying to get some sleep? I'm off duty now. Hmm? You're looking for Angelo? Hmm, I haven't seen him. Ah, yep, we, we heard that he's getting in the torture chamber. Getting whipped or beat or whatever the fuck these, these assholes do to the people that they torture. Heretics to the faith. You're free to enter the interrogation, but Captain Marcelo is using the back room at the moment, so it's off the limits. Well, let's check out this other area, I guess. Oh, just this dude. I'll let you in on a little secret. Though Captain Marcelo is not the kind of man to take any nonsense from anyone, he'll never challenge the word of Abbot Francisco. He's been like a father to Marcelo, you see. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I thought that's who that kid was. I. That's exact. Because in Simpleton, where they were talking about how like the old uh, bastard had a kid with his maid, and then that kid got sent to the Abbey. Well, that's Marcello. Connected the dots there, did we? All right, sin time. Time for sin. Well done. 
you managed to cause another brawl at the Simpleton Pub. I hope you're proud of yourself. News travels fast. What a fine intelligence network the Templars have. How much more shame do you intend to bring to our Abbey? You're like a curse. Yes, a filthy curse. If you hadn't been born, we'd all have been spared a lot of misery. Goddamn. Mm. You're nothing but a petty crook with a pretty face. It sickens me to think we share any common blood. Yep, that confirms it. <clears throat> Enough. Templar Angelo, by order of the captain, you are sentenced to a term of penitence. I'm hereby stripping you of your right to leave the Abbey. You do not leave this place. Not for anything. Understood? Cross me on this, and I'll see to it that you're expelled from the Order. And don't think the Abbot will be able to protect you this time. He's evil. <laughs> oh, we can't go in there, so I guess we gotta leave. What can I look at this book? You shouldn't leave books unattended. You have, some, you have round bandit dudes reading your books. Well, I guess we leave and... Or try to leave, rather. Hmm. Uh-oh. Wow, I've never seen anything like it. The gesture that the Holy Father has summoned is an unbelievably talented performer. I tell you, he's here one minute and over there the next, in the blink of an eye, he just vanishes and pops up somewhere else. Maybe we're not leaving yet. Maybe we need to go see if Dual Magus is here. M maybe we need to go see, because, like, that could be some bad news. There was a gesture here just a moment ago. He'd come to visit the Holy Father. There was something rather eerie about him, actually. Hmm? You're looking for him who? The jester? Yes. Oh, no, no. Only those with the express permission of Captain Marceau can come through here. I have a friend who's a very kind and gentle soul. He would agree to see anyone who crested an audience with him. That's why we're here, to protect him from the riffraff he's too polite to turn away. Now clear off. Uh, well, that's problematic. So, old man Francisco. Yep. All right, cool. Sup, fucker. <laughs> you. You're the people I met at the pub, right? What are you doing here? What do you mean, what are we doing here? You told us to come. Now you can take back this stupid ring and we'll be on our way. My ring? Of course. I can still play that card. Listen, I've got a favor to ask. A favor? You're kidding, right? What makes you think we'd want to help you? Just listen, all right? There's no time to argue. Can't you feel it? Can't you feel the sinister presence in the Abbey? I heard that a jester got into the Abbot's residence. I'm convinced he's the source of the sinister... Well, he may be a fuckboy, but he's got that holy presence to him, I guess. A jester? I don't know what he's planning to do, but I'm sure Abbot Francisco's life is in danger. You've got to help. I need you to get into the Abbot's residence and make sure that he's all right. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Now listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. You may have seen them already, but there are some obstinate idiots guarding the bridge to the Abbot's residence. You can't go that way. But if you're prepared to go the long way around, there is another way to get there. You have to leave the abbey as if you were going to Simpleton, but turn immediately left along the river. Just follow the river along, keeping the abbey in view. Keep going along the river, and you'll come to a ruin. 
It's the old abbey that was used before this one. There's an underground passageway leading from there to the abbot's residence. I'm afraid that's the only way. The entrance to the ruin can be opened with the Templar's ring I gave you. So you just keep hold of it, all right? Anyway, there's no time to lose. It's in your hands now. Please help the abbot. All right. Finally, it's an adventure. Oh, pot's done. <laughs> I feel like I'm being trained like a like a like Pavlov did to the dogs. I hear the ding and oh, pot's done. Drop everything. <laughs> I think I pro I probably need to head back to um. To the the K, the place where we got caught the boat. So we can heal, buy more herbs, give Jessica some herbs, because currently she just doesn't have any. Oh. Okay. I, was, I saw I saw like nine plus on my Discord notifications. It was like it was like uh oh, but it's thankfully not anything that's like super pressing to do, worry about, and all that. Uh, so let's see. Oh, we can get back to the Abbey. I was hoping to be able to get back to the Abbey from, uh, with the, the Chimera Wing. That way we can heal, buy some more herbs, because herbs are still useful to just kind of use, like, when we're on the run. Like, around, like, going around training and stuff. And then we can, uh, use the inn as well. Nice and cheap. I had a well confusing time in trying to decide whether to go straight and maybe become a monk at the Abbey. In the end, I decided to stick around here pretending to be a thief, but really be being your proper upright citizen. Pretty clever, eh? Now nah, I quit my life of crime, might as well give you this. An iron nail. Any thief word of the salt can use that to unlock stuff, but your average man on the street ain't got no idea what to do with it. If you're clever and you mix it with something else, maybe you'll be able to get to work for you. You'll have to figure it out for yourself though, anyway. I'm on the straight and narrow now, so it's all yours. Huh. Alright. Well, that's fun. I don't suppose that means we can use that nail to unlock these chests over here. Probably not. We probably need the thief's key for that. Yeah, thought so. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Probably don't. Probably nothing good we can buy from you, but we'll check anyway. I mean, that would be an upgrade in damage for Yangus, but it's not. It's not a club, so we'd. It'd be an upgrade in damage, but not by a lot. I really, really sucks that we can't buy a staff yet for Jess, because she uses the staves. Well, she can use staves. It's probably her best weapon, I would imagine. All right, let's double check. We got everything here. <clears throat> okay, cool. Now let's go to the item shop. Should be right around here somewhere. Yeah, it's right here. <clears throat> Alright, cool. 
Got some more herbs for general use, plus just making more, uh... I don't know if I broke the pots here. Oh! <laughs> just, th just throwing them in the ocean. Or whatever this is. <laughs> hey, we still get the stuff! <laughs> Property damage has never been so tidy. Oh, I missed a few. Sneaky bugger had some behind his shop, too. Just for that. Ugh. Hey, another kill. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so now let's... We'll Chimera Wing back to the Abbey. And then we'll, um... See if we can get through this dungeon. Because it's, it's almost certainly going to be a dungeon. I figured for the in the interest of time and getting this getting more progress, we'll go to the abbey here with the wing, save and said said take a left and follow the follow the river. I get I think. Oh, hello, Jargon. Or at least try to conserve some of Jessica's MP for whenever we get to this place. Yeah, I was guessing that like this way and down where I was looking previously is where the old Abbey is. Oh, pot's done! <laughs> we'll just keep making these. We'll end up giving Jessica one of these strong medicines anyway. So we might as well just take one of our inventory spots out. Oh, these assholes. Well, we can deal with the jargons now, so I don't think these are as uh, dangerous as they were. Oh, I bet these are ma uh, material family. I probably should use um. That or they're metal, because I mean they're bells. Eh, it's a little late for that, so we'll just we'll just kill them anyway. What makes you think they're based on an object? They're they're little bells. Then they're named Dingling.
Don't you sass me, Nakura. I know what bells are. <laughs> I just have Jessica defend. I don't want to use up any more MP than I need. Oh, they're about to sleep anyway, so yeah, we don't need to use MP. <clears throat> My name is Abel. Abel? Abel? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Are you able to withstand the amount of sass in my body, in my soul? <laughs> well, hopefully this is the right way. We'll see what this says. Yeah, I think we might be going the wrong way. So we need to find the river and kind of follow that instead. Well, if you find the river, let's just follow the river until we find what we're looking for. <laughs> it's a jargon and then a little slimes. Now this is what we'll use, a, use some MP for. These jargons are uh, problematic. No sand, fuck you. Um, well, I guess we can go this way. I thought following the path would take me to where it is, but it seems it's a little off the beaten path. That's one of the things I really like about the boomerang is that it does decent damage, but it hits everyone, so you can like soften up enemies in the back, and then by the time you get to them, they're already basically dead. 11 HP for Yangus. 9 skill points. Oh. Oh. I, I hit a level cap, apparently. Um. I guess maybe, um this you, you were also an item <laughs> I see okay gotcha well I guess we're gonna get some humanity then Ingus is humanity increases he becomes soft-hearted learns whistle Ooh, just a level up too. 6 HP 6 MP Learn snooze. It's eight skill points. Uh, let's see. I mean, staves are great, but I maybe I should be equipped. Do uh. Hmm. Yeah, I probably should just keep doing staves because staves gives me more other spells too. Learns bounce. Ooh, that could be useful. Let's see, the name Mobus or Mabus or whatever is like the name of like the Antichrist. So I didn't really go with the whole um. 
I didn't really go with the whole item thing. I went with, like, a concept. I guess. I don't know. Alright, well, let's, let's keep making them. Again, we can't just crank out, like, dozens and dozens of medicines all at a time, but we can at least kind of make them. I didn't know I was that de devilish. <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, I completely, like, I should have just went this way, because I guess this is the way where we have to actually go along the river. Knowing that, I kind of want to just go, like, hmm. I guess we'll see how things pan out. Oh, dinglings! Oh no, dinglings are attacking! Uh-oh. Well. Switch to the jargon, I guess. Hopefully Angus doesn't miss, because otherwise this is going to get pretty problematic. Ah, uh, well, this is going to get pretty problematic. Eh, I mean, probably not, actually. Yeah, never mind. It's not that bad. God damn it, don't kabuff. You little jerk asses. Thankfully, they're not all in the same group. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh, here's another jargon. Great. Shit. Alright, well. Angus not being able to hit stuff is uh, kind of bad. But we're alright. Ooh, that's a good um, that's a good chunk of XP though. Those bells can be problematic as hell. Oh, there's a night enemy. Let's heal up before we fight that, cause from what I'm understanding, if there's enemies like that out, out on the the world map, they're a little strong for their area. So we'll fight ya, Mr. Rogue Knight or Hollow Knight or whatever the fuck you're called. Uh, you might you might be a mineral family or material family or whatever. Uh, let's try a snooze or a, let's try a sap actually. Oh well, that's great. Ow! Fuck you! Oh wow, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm not gonna risk her just getting clobbered by this this like dude.
Ooh, treasure chest. Copper monster coin. Oh yeah, we can sell those for money. I just kind of forgot about them. What if they always drop that? And if so, that'd be pretty good, I guess. Uh... Alright, yeah, this is definitely the we're gonna lead to that Abbey place. We're gonna go heal and then come back, because... Yeah... I kind of wandered around in the middle of nowhere for no good reason. So let's go, let's go get some... Probably buy a few more Chimera Wings, we'll heal up, and then we'll come back and we'll go there. So they used up a lot of, uh, of Jessica's MP, just fighting random shit out in the middle of nowhere for no good reason, because I didn't, I didn't listen to what I was told. <laughs> I was like, oh, surely this path will lead me there. And spoilers, it did not lead me there. <laughs> so now we're going to go buy, uh, like a few more Chimera, like two more Chimera wings to make sure that we can still fly around a little bit. Because we don't know Zoom yet. I don't know when or if we'll learn it, so. We'll also buy some more herbs, too, so I can just keep making as many of these medicines as possible. And on that note too, while I'm thinking, well, while I'm thinking about it, let's uh, sort out some of this stuff. Yangus doesn't need that many strong medicines, although we're gonna keep him. We're gonna keep at least two of them on him. Cause I want to be able to have heals that aren't um, affected by um, needing MP, or if there's a place where, like, MP is restricted. I've, I've been burnt before with dra on Dragon Quest with, like, areas where, like, you can't use magic and then that's what you use to heal, and then suddenly you just can't heal. So if we, if we have enough, uh, the strong medicines we're gonna give, we're gonna hand them out. Oh well. Oh, now it's in the now it's at the top of the bag. Okay. There we go. We'll move the regular herbs to the top of the bag, too. There we go. Nice and useful. We got cheese! We got whatever the hell that is. Holy water, some clubs, this uh, Templar's ring, which is, an actual, is actually a, um, an accessory. Huh. Well, we can give her that instead of this, uh, Brace the bracer, and we can give that bracer to someone else. Let's see. Um, probably Mobus here. All right. Cool. Oh wait. Yangus can, uh, I'm having him hold that special medicine because he's got the most HP by a good margin, so he's probably the one that'd be able to use it the best, so we're, uh, alright, cool, alright, now, let's use a Chimera Wing, go back to the Abbey, we'll save at the dude outside there and then we're gonna attempt to get through and clear that dungeon fast like I'll even use like a holy water so we don't get encounters on the way there cuz yeah 
me, me wandering around for like 10 minutes in the wilderness, not finding the place, didn't really do us much good for that account. On time! Alchemy pot, alchemy pot. We'll just keep cranking out strong medicines while we're wandering around. Oh, that didn't seem like it worked at all. Hey, you know what? Screw it. Go. Crack. Just a little, just a little bit of crack can go a long way. Oh, god damn it. Alright, well, at least that one can't attack this turn. That works. That went a lot better than it had any right to go. Cause the jargon could have like, um, the jargon could have breathed, breathed fire, and the dingling could have made a, set, a third jargon show up. So like, we kind of got lucky that there was a pretty tame fight. Uh-oh. This could get a little scuffed. Yeah, that's, oh, that's not... Okay, that could have went worse. Okay, it went worse. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can't not, like... Oh, Jesus, stop! <laughs> Please, stop calling more frickin' jargons! <laughs> Hopefully you can just beat... Oh, yep, yeah, that's, that's what I was afraid of. Woo! 4 HP! Not even close. <laughs> Uh, what a freaking hassle. Okay, well. Time to. Trying to just. For, to force feed everyone a bunch of herbs. This is also why I just bought a lot of herbs, because they're. At this point in the game, they're starting to get pretty cheap. So I can use those to just heal up. Without having to use up MP or whatever. God damn. How long is this path? Okay, here we go. The ancient stone markers inscribed with some kind of crest. 
appears to be appears to be the same amount on Angelo's ring. There appears to be a hole for inserting the ring. Insert Angelo's ring. Push the Templar's ring into an impression on the stone marker. Whoa, holy fire! What a neat that's a neat trick. Hmm. You know, I'm having second thoughts about doing this dungeon now with how much time we have left. Maybe we should just grind on the enemies around here. Yes, Yangus. Pick your nose. I think we're gonna just grind on the enemies nearby, like in the local area instead. Get some levels up and then ne the next stream will actually go through the dungeon. Because we'll have more, a lot more time than like 26 minutes. Because I don't know how long that dungeon's gonna be. So we'll just get some XP. Kind of roam around the area, maybe see if I can uh, get that chest that's over there, maybe. Oh, Sleepy Time Junction. I might also just quickly try to look up some recipes for uh, crafting stuff. Let's see. DQ8 Alchemy. List of alchemy recipes. Okay, let's see what we got. Angel cheese. Cook a cold cheese. Chili cheese. Chunky cheese. Gold cheese. Cool cheese. Cured cheese. Elfin elixir. Panacea. Okay. Oh, eventually I guess we get X using three ingredients. That's cool. Holy water. Don't get that. Um... Let's see. That's ex that's ex accessibles. I guess which is like items. Big bad boss shield, bandit mail. Okay, so right now we can there's a lot a limited things we can probably craft. In part because there's not much we can buy, but I want to I want to try to see if there's like a staff I can make for um... if there's like a staff I can make for Jessica. <laughs> Probably not, but. Uh, wizards, yeah, I don't even have access to a wizard staff, let alone rune staff, so. Alright, never mind. We'll just grind. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and grind, just grind for a while. Maybe I'll try to go get this uh, chest that's over here. Oh. I guess it was doing something, but maybe the enemy group that I found was like too strong or something. <sighs> yep, we'll just keep cranking out these strong medicines. Okay, that's that. I was wondering what that button did. The answer is that. 
Well, I guess we could just fight this guy to get some money, too. Even though there's not really anything we can buy, per se. Rude. Okay, they don't always drop the coin. Maybe they only drop it once, I don't know. Oh wait, he has whistled. I have a feeling I know what that does. Oh! Alright, well that's gonna make grinding a lot easier. Just whistle. I figured that's what Whistle did, but... Great. So now we don't even have to, like, leave outside of, like, town or whatever. We can just Whistle and just get a bunch of XP and gold and whatever. Uh-oh. Well, that's gonna be bad. Me too. Yeah, two two of those is a bit of a is a bit of a hairy encounter, honestly. Uh, maybe we should try going to that castle place. Maybe that has some items we can buy. So in that case, let's, uh... We'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to, um... Oh, we, we can, oh, we can actually just fly to the Ruin Abbey. Cool, that'll make things a lot easier when the time comes. Well, let's go back to Paragon and we'll, we'll buy, um... We'll buy, like, a few, uh, Camaro wings. Instead of just, like, one or two, we'll buy, like, four. And then we'll see if we can make it to that castle place real fast. Because at the start of the next stream, we'll be able to use, to use a Camaro wing to get to the next to the next dungeon place really fast, actually. I was not expecting to be able to use a Camaro wing to get there. So, that's cool. Alright, let's just buy, like... We got the money. We can just buy, like, five of these. I don't want to buy too many because, well, at some point I'm assuming we're going to get Zoom and then we can just do it for free or che on the cheap. So. Yeah, we'll heal at the end just because we might run into some encounters on the way to this castle place. Got it! Got it! <laughs> Hello, welcome back, Hug Dispenser, or, or welcome back from lurking, whichever the case may be. Always good to have you around. Yeah, the answer is yes. <laughs> Alright. Let's come arrowing back to... Abby, and we're, we're gonna try to make it to this castle place that I saw. Maybe they sell some weapons and uh, weapons and armor there that I could buy. Cause the last place we had had some armor w upgrades, but not really any weapons. So, actually, when I come here, I probably could have um, flown straight to a uh, simpleton. Ah, eh. now I wasted that Camaro wing. Oh well. They're not really that expensive. I can afford one almost every after every battle. Uh, 
Unfortunately, I don't think there's an item shop here unless I missed it, which I mean, it's very possible, but I didn't really spend too much time looking around this little town here. Anything over here? Or is it just a... Oh, it's like the back of the bar, it looks like. I didn't really look too much into the bar either, I just like... There's no, just, excuse me, excuse me, there's nothing here, so. And, uh, unless you count the, the little bar bunnies, which, they're, they're very pretty, but that's not why we're here. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, okay, I, this looks like it's the church, so there's probably nothing in here. Like, not an item shop or something, but, unless there is... You can bung a whole lot, lot of load of commonplace items in a pot and make something really unusual that you won't find in any shop. You can make it from really cheap ingredients but sell for a small fortune. That's something worth remembering. Although you have too much of a good thing, sell too much of a rarity and the price will drop because it's not rare anymore. Hopefully that doesn't work that way in this game. Hopefully there's not like an actual stock market for stuff. But I was, but yeah, I remember in um, DQ9 you can like buy a bunch of herbs and then make a bunch of strong medicines and then sell the resulting strong medicines for like one GP profit. So it's like not really worth your time doing, but you can definitely do it. I wonder if they're worth a bit more in this game since it takes longer to craft them. Oh, Winkies. Hello, Winky. My little friends. Bring the she slimes might just run away anyway. Winkies. They look like little birds, but not really. They, like their body type's like a little bird. But they're not really a bird. I don't know what they are. Winkies must be from some of the older Dragon Quests that I haven't played yet, because um I remember seeing those monster designs in uh, Dragon Warrior Monsters, which is an ancient fucking game at this point, so. Yeah, I figured they're from some, like, like probably, like, four or five or six or whatever, because I've not played any of those. Ooh, level up for, for the hero. Five skill points. Boomerang! Big Boomer learns the power throw. Ooh, Winky. Oh, you shouldn't have Winky. Thank you. What a, what a, what a sweetheart. Oh. Pot's done. <laughs> I figure making these while we're just running around training anyway is good for not only getting like better healing items, but if it, they if they sell for a good amount, then it'd be good to get extra money that way too. Yeah, we'll see if we can get to um this castle place because maybe we can buy some stuff there. And if not, then at least we have at least we have it unlocked for probably after. This story arc thing with Angelo. I'm assuming that we do this for Angelo and eventually he joins our party as like a priest or something. Alright, let's just sizz. Let's kill him. Well, it's gonna take two turns anyway, but 
whatever. This is a really good overworld theme. Oh, uh, fucking dinglings! Um, do I even bother? I don't know. Uh, we'll just do a frizz on this dingling. Okay, they haven't. They didn't call friends, so this one might not be too bad. Oh, perfect. Yeah, they're definitely dead. Unless the Ingus misses. I figured using this like end of stream time to try to get to this castle so I can Chimera wing back to it later anyway would probably be a good use of time. Hopefully we don't find like some strong enemies that just wipe us out. Oh brownies, okay. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, these guys aren't so bad. Not too bad. Uh, probably do want to use uh, some heal though, real quick. Alright, cool. Okie doke. I'm guessing the sign up here is going to say something about the castle again. Maybe? I don't know. We'll find out when we get there. Ah, uh, yep. Ascantha Castle. This way! I wonder if there's stuff we can buy there. No idea. I have done zero research into this game other than I know it's a Dragon Quest game and apparently it's well- Oh! Pan Pipers! Unfortunately, we're gonna have to kill the Jargon first because that probably does more damage, but those Pan Pipers look like they're gonna be a pain in the ass too. Or like Pain Pipers. Oh. Good job. Yeah, these little panpiper dudes. I don't know what curse does, but they don't seem that ferocious. Uh oh! It went. It, it's angry. Now it's dead. Huh? So that. So that. So those little winkies aren't aren't the only enemies that can do that. I wonder what that does. I would assume it makes them like do more damage, but they probably just still die anyway. There's just like a house over there. Oh, pot's done. <laughs> this is becoming a cooking stream. Don't you judge me. 
I'm trying to just be constantly cooking with this thing since it can only make one thing at a time. It's even more important just to be constantly doing it, unfortunately. I mean, this doesn't look like much of a castle, so I guess we'll see what this place is. Maybe it's just a very small castle. Oh no, she slimes! Oh no! It's my house. I was, t I was too, s the she slimes were too strong, I had to run away. Oh, maybe this isn't the castle. Maybe it's just like a random house. Well, I guess let's go see what's up. Meow, meow, meow. Nice, nice barrels. I told you it's my house. Ooh, mini metal, thank you. My granddaughter, Emma, works as a maid at the castle. She's a lovely, hard-working girl. She's not been able to take any holiday for these past two years now. I do miss her visits. Hmm? The way to the castle? Just follow the path? These? You'll get to it eventually. I'm hoping I do before I have to end stream, because otherwise this whole little journey out here would be a little of a bit of a waste, but... I'm busy plundering this lady's house. Ooh, Silk Road. I had to buy one of those in, uh... The K at uh, Peregrine, Peregrine K, so just finding one of those is pretty nice. Be able to sell it and at least recoup some of my investment. It's a moo cow! Uh oh, I bet the enemies are gonna be a little harder crossing this bridge. Bridges tend to do that in Dragon Quest, so hopefully uh, we can handle it. I mean, the XP around here is pretty decent for just the common battles, so. Oh, do we have a church here? I mean, might not, might not be a bad deal to save here, just in case. Greetings, travelers. Would like to rest here at our chapel? We recommend a donation of 10 gold coins in return. Oh, sweet. It's an inn. Even better. 10 coins to freaking rest? Alright. Maybe church people aren't so bad. I think it's just those particular church people that are kind of shitty. On one hand, they're cursing like worldly greed, but then they're charging like outrageous donations. Uh, let's see, seed of seed of magic. Uh, maximum MP. We gave the last one to Yangus. I think this one we'll give it to Jessica because it's just so important for her to have a lot of MP to cast spells. We'll save. Actually, we might just save here and continue on to the castle next time. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just right over to four hour mark, so figured that's a good enough place to stop. Pretty convenient, actually. I didn't plan this out at all. I've literally never played this game. The only time I've done any research for it is just now, like five minutes ago when I was looking up alchemy recipes that I can't really do yet because <laughs> most of them need like three ingredients. I didn't, didn't know it was a thing, but hey, eventually we you know with that we'll use three ingredients. All right. Oh, great and compassionate goddess, please grant this child a peaceful respite. Okay. Oh, Square Enix. Yep, we know. Okay, cool. Alrighty. So let me go ahead and turn the end stream on. Thank you all so much for coming by and watching me as I play DQ8. I'm having a great time with it. Despite my muppetry of just not listening to clear directions and just wandering around in the wilderness for a while. I'm having a good time. I hope you all are having a good time just like vibing and hanging out and watch me uh, play. Thank thanks both of you for, for coming by so often. I appreciate the company. Um, tomorrow we'll be continuing Tales of Arise, which I'm also really hyped for. Like, Because god damn it's such a pretty game. It's fun, so hope to see some of y'all then as well. But if not, I'll see you next time. Uh, let me see if I can raid some real fast since I have like a few minutes kind of lingering over before I would normally end. Let's see. Uh, oh, 
Digi Dragon Seven's playing Pathologic. We we got we gotta we gotta see what's going on with that because that's a weird weird ass game and Digi's good people. So I'm gonna end my stream and then we'll be raiding Digi Dragon Seven. I'll see you there.